Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Lewis Harding Investor and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through my investment portfolio update as at December 2021. Let's get straight into it. So for anyone new around here, let's go through my portfolio details on target allocation. So essentially, I started this portfolio in May 2020. Um, when I like redefine my strategy in terms of investing in the stock market. Um, so yeah, it's been going since then and my benchmark is the FTSE All World Index, um, an index which covers 95% of global market cap, um, so effectively the full world stock market. Um, yeah, it's currently valued around 14 grand um, and as you can see from target allocation, um, this is what it's split into, how I'd like to invest over time. Um, so mostly into individual stocks um, with a value investing bias. Um, buying companies for less than but what less than what they're worth. Um, investing into emerging markets, a bit of venture capital, and a few other bits as well, which make up Bitcoin, commodities, and gold. So yeah, now let's move on to my performance in terms of how my investments have done. Um, so yeah, we'll start with um, the summary page. So yeah, I mean individual stocks, fourteen percent up. Um, yeah, small cap index was up four percent. Um, what else? So yeah, venture capital is now doing bit better than last time, 152%, um, which I will explain um, later in this video. Uh, Bitcoin is still up and down like crazy, and um, recently it has had a bit a bit of a pullback. Um, and yeah, so commodities and gold haven't really done too much, but they're a bit more stable than Bitcoin, let's just say that. But yeah, now on to the more detailed um, breakdown, and yeah, you can see there's a few new additions in there. Um, Activision Blizzard is one of them. Um, I won't reveal too much in this video because I do have an individual stock analysis coming out for them. Um, so it might be, yeah, it'll be we, we definitely will be worth watching that video when it comes out um, in a week or so. Um, but yeah, you can see that Free Trade and Bank North, um, they have gone up quite a bit um, in terms of the allocation and overall profit and loss going up. So yeah, Free Trade shares now make up like 21% of the portfolio, which is bonkers to be totally honest. But yeah, in three or four years when the IPO, it will be all worth it. So yeah, I've got two main points to go through in this investment portfolio update. And the first one is my two venture capital investments, which have had an um, increase in the share price um, due to uh, crowdfunding raises. So we'll, we will start with Bank North. And um, this is a company I invested in back in, when was it? 20, early 2020, January 2020 it was. Um, it was before the pandemic. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a company which is looking to become a bank in North of England, but they're based around all of the UK. They're based in North of England, but covering all of the UK, um, essentially lending to businesses, giving them business loans. Um, so yeah, um, I like what I saw, and it's looking like it's paying off so far. Uh, the business is starting to make loans. Um, essentially, we're a bank, and we're going to grow over time, and hopefully, in say five, six years, the IPO will get acquired, and I make some money on that investment. Happy days. Um, yeah, free trade. We all know free trade. Well, if you're watching this video from the UK, you probably know who free trade are. Um, link in bio for a free share. Um, had to plug that in. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a free. I'm a shareholder in free trade. Um, yeah, what can I say? Fantastic stuff. Um, investments up 600 percent. Making up 20 percent of the portfolio. <laughs> I'm very concentrated into them now. But I'm holding these shares until they IPO in a few years' time, and I'll be laughing all the way to the bank. Um, and I'll use the gains to invest back into the stock market. So, and the uh, compounding continues. Keep on doing this over years and years. Pretty simple. Um, but yeah, I might have to do a video on investing on crowd and seeders and early stage businesses because I personally think it could be a good giver of returns um, if you know what you're doing. So yeah, the last point I wanted to make is that I've decided to no longer index hug. Essentially, I have dropped my small cap index and I've increased what my allocation to individual stocks will be. I've essentially done this because I believe, after doing research, I thought it would be good to get exposure to small caps. Um, it probably would be a better idea to get exposure to value small caps, but I don't really want to spend time going through annual reports of small, you know, 20 million market cap businesses. So what I've decided to do is drop it all together and say I would rather have more of my money in individual stocks, which I've researched, and I can get a return of 10% or above per year. And yeah, we will see if I can do that. Um, I'm going to be living by the sword and dying by the sword. Um, but I'm confident in my ability to identify high quality businesses and buy them at you know fair or wonderful prices. 
and I believe over the long term this will, you know, literally pay me dividends. Um, so yeah, controversial one of course. I do think indexing is good for some people, but not for me unfortunately. So that's it for this video. Apologies that it's about a month late. Um, no excuses for my part. Um, the January 2022 update will be up in a few days, so look out for that one. If you enjoyed today's video, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. As always, it would be amazing if you could like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. However, you can check out some of these videos.